And the second reading that the church chooses each week is actually the first reading. And it's always an Old Testament prefiguring of whatever the gospel is about. So if the gospel is speaking of God's mercy, of Jesus healing somebody, of him being kind to somebody, our first reading is going to speak to that same theme of God's mercy, of his kindness, of his healing. And so we want to keep that connection in mind. We're told that the entirety of the Old Testament is fulfilled in the gospel, and everything in the gospel is prefigured in the Old Testament. And the church wants us to have that connection, wants us to see the beautiful richness of it. But it also means that each one of these readings stands by itself. And so we don't get a semi-continuous reading like we do with the gospel or like we will get with the second reading. It's going to be all over the place. So sometimes we're going to hear from Genesis and sometimes we're going to hear from Deuteronomy, sometimes from Isaiah or Hosea. So it's a good idea for us to read each reading each week and maybe look at some of the text around us so we can get a sense for what's going on in that story.